I'm back. Getting a recording to hold true is difficult. This one here is true. So that was just a little piece of what would become a long and arduous adventure. Kennedy, as he was known during those times, still was not awake. The hopes of that ever happening were murdered one by one throughout his time in the trip. I was able to get this next piece of the puzzle, including some insight by the Callum themselves. Until the next one, T. Murphy Triplet, only a single shepherd of the Shepherds of a Thousand Lives. Rage or no rage, hook or no hook, I had her, and there was nothing the poor angel could do. I almost had them all. They were much more powerful than I realized. Certainly more powerful than they realized. I have a plan for Blythe. A very interesting friends and Dr. Kennedy. He knows some very important and very rare rituals, and I am convinced he hasn't unlocked that knowledge yet. I'm sure a little time in Inferno might jar his memory. After all, it is where he found it. begin to do basically the same thing that he had done before, except instead of pinning Blythe against the wall, he has used these claws in his hand and has cut her top down the back as his other hand is holding her now against his body. That minus one sets me at unhinged. Sasha's going to lash out at the doctor. I'm going to attempt to get Blythe and get out of there. And I'm going to use both edges at the same time okay. to get the jump on them. But instead of harming, I, I want to get Blythe and then I want to avoid an attack and get her out of the way. You make your move and get up there. And before he can continue on, you are able in that moment with your first couple rolls that were halfway decent, achieve your purpose of pulling her away from him for the moment. But he gets a hold of you. I want to use my last snake charmer to stop him from doing that. That is what I desire. Get Blythe pulled away from him. Now he's got a hold of Sasha. Doctor, you've gotten him to stop for a moment. Leave the boy be. It's going to happen now, regardless of what you do. Let the boy live. He turns his focus towards you. Sasha, he's holding you, but he's not squeezing. You feel just enough strength to let you know that he could, like that. But his head turns towards the doctor. We've been through this over and over. Just let me get my wings and I'll be gone. I have been tempting them out of her for years. They're mine. I bought them. I will have their power. They're coming out regardless. I'm not waiting for the ascendancy. It happens now. But is that true ascendancy? She's going to come into them regardless. While he's distracted with the doctor, Sasha unleashes inner power yes. against against the doctor. It's just this focused, thick, almost beam of the smoke that just you you see it kind of the air kind of boil up around him and come and the smoke comes through him and straight out and slams straight into the doctor and Sasha gritting his teeth. She does not belong to you anymore. Sasha, get her out of here. What? What do you mean you're going to get him out of me? What do you want to do with them? Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to grab her by the hand and just try to run out of the room. She like goes with him, turns back looks at her husband and looks back to Sasha. What? Get to the statue. Get to get to the statue. Okay, I'll, okay. I'll keep him, we'll keep him at bay long enough for you to get there. Get to the statue. I don't want him to hurt you. Go. She'll look at Sasha one last time with like tears in her eyes and then she'll just turn and run. After she's taken off running, Sasha will turn and come back into the room. Damn it, Sasha. I meant for you to go too. As starts yelling at you guys to run, you get the doctor's attention. He's coming at you, Ernie, rather quickly. That's when Sasha has his moment to get Blythe through the door, and I need you to avoid harm. He's coming at you with a hook in hand, ready to tear you apart. 
dodge dodge as he swings his hook at you. Sasha, what are you doing at this point? You turn around and see the doctor take a big, huge swing at Ernie and miss. I'm going to run straight at the doctor and just try to tackle him. Sasha isn't thinking very straight. You come in to tackle the doctor. He seems to be much more graceful as he's made his moves tonight and just moving around the room. In a fluid motion with his miss from the doctor, he senses you coming up from behind, turns, and takes you, and he wraps his arms around you, and you can feel his claws piercing into the flesh of your back and yourself being lifted from the floor. You feel the wetness and heat that seems to be coming from his flayed body and he gets close to your ear. He whispers, except the voice that you hear is the voice of Harvey Winston. Think of the sunrise, Sasha. Think of the sunrise, Sasha. Think of the sunrise. And your world fades as the illusion around you seems to tear and break apart. Dr. Kennedy, you see him bear hug Sasha, whisper something in his ear, and then he just lets him go. Sasha slumps to the floor, and then he turns to you. Am I going to have to kill you again? Oh, please tell me that story while I check on my friend. And I move to Sasha and check his pulse. Roll to avoid harm for me. The doctor reaches out and grabs you. As you get close to Sasha, he is pale, lifeless. You see a trickle of blood coming from the corner of his mouth. It's sort of pooled on the floor below him, and another one coming out of his nose. When the doctor grabs you, the world around you suddenly changes. The walls to your laboratory disappear, and it is as if you are on this giant stone platform, and the landscape around you is what Ernest can only describe as a hellscape. Rock, fire, no sun, no moon. And this room, all of the walls from the entire place that you were in, you can see where your laboratory would have been. It's as if all the walls where you were disappeared and the surroundings changed. Sasha's gone. You don't see any other people. Where did he grab me? On your shoulder. Just as you passed by, he reached out with his right hand and just gripped your shoulder. I'm looking down at the spot where Sasha was, and he's gone. The landscape has changed, and I look up. Did you kill the boy? (laughs) Oh, Ernst, don't you realize? Yet, you still don't know. There is no death. Did you end this particular instance of his existence? Mm. Yes. Mm. Still, it is a shame. (laughs) You all are so naive still, even after all this time, Doctor. But you know what? I have you in Inferno now. You you treat the limited existence as though it is purposeless. And I think that is your biggest fault. Limitless? No, the limited existence. You you treat it as pointless, as purposeless. The only meaning in existence comes from this limited existence. What these people, what we, I include myself of course, are able to accomplish in the limited portion of life as we know it. Yes, you beings are eternal. Congratulations. That doesn't diminish what we can accomplish while we are alive. No, I understand that, Dr. Kennedy. My only purpose in my own existence is torment. That much I've learned. How long have we known each other, Doctor? In my individual existence this time. We've known each other a long time, Doctor. I'm sure. But I'm actually asking about this time in particular. At least a couple of decades. And what have I been able to learn this time around that I hadn't in a previous incarnation? Oh, you've learned much, Doctor, and you're about to learn a whole lot more. I mean, that's my entire purpose in being here, isn't it? Yes, and here's the best part. 
I'm going to clue you in just so that you have something to look forward to. <laughs> when you are done here, we'll be right back where we started. Except then, you'll know my name. And that will be the end of me. So let's just hope I don't do the damage that I plan on getting done while you're here. I was about to ask, is that what you want? It is what it is. It is destiny. It is my fate. I made a sacrifice. I have you in Inferno now for 100 years. At the end of it, you'll get my name. And when you come back after 100 years of torment, we'll be right back where we started. With your friend lying dead at my feet. Your other friends gone. And my prey and my power and her wings in the temple right outside the door to this room. Well, I told you she was going to get them regardless, didn't I? She's the child, isn't she? She's the daughter of a demon. And, and she of has that woman, uh, right? Yes. The one. <laughs> it required a human to bear the child. Mm. I need the child's mm. power. I will get that power once I have her wings out. I knew I should have kept better track of that woman after she left. She just about ruined everything. What happened to her? She disappeared. She stopped showing up. She's down here somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm here for a hundred years. I might as well find her, eh? Goodbye, Ernst. I look forward to learning your name. 